Why hello, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Corona. Although, as you'll know if you've been following me thus far, we're not actually cooking with Corona, we are merely cooking during the lockdown whilst this virus is upon us. That is, of course, unless you are watching this whilst suffering from COVID-19, in which case we're cooking with Corona in both respects of that sentence. Now, today, and this is happening even whilst my previous dish of fried chicken is still being marinated. That is to say that it hasn't been fried yet, and it might not even work, which might mean that this part, what I'm saying, doesn't make sense even, because I won't be able to put up the fried chicken if it's a failed recipe, unless of course I put it in to the um, outtakes. Even whilst that's going on, I say, we're going to be making the dessert just to see if I can do it all at once. Because I've made two dishes at the same time. You might recall that I was making the Guinness cake at the same time as I was making the Bubble and Squeak and um, Toad in the Hole. So, blueberry pie. Now, blueberries are a new world berry, most closely related to our bilberry. They're extremely beautiful. They are most popular, I suppose, in modern times in American-style muffins. As you'll deduce from the title of this video, however, we are going to be making them in a pie. Now, how much sugar you add to the pastry and the filler depends on how sweet the berries themselves are. Right, they are sweet, so I shan't need very much. So, the recipe calls for 150 grams of them. This is more like 250 grams, but no matter, I'm sure it'll work me to make the crust. Now, I realise that it would be easier by far to just buy the pastry in the shop, and I was tempted to do that, but the reason I'm going to make it today is because it'll be applicable to any future recipe I make. I, I have in mind to make a savoury pie at a later stage. So, if you want to learn how to make your own pastry, follow the instructions I'm giving now for future reference. If not, skip ahead. 325 grams or two and a half cups of white flour, all-purpose flour. All right, that's more like 400 grams. No matter, I'm sure it'll still work. 230 grams or a cup of unsalted butter, preferably cold. This is a little too cold, as it's difficult to get out. All right, that's more like 250, no matter. Teaspoon of salt. And as this is a sweet pastry, I'm going to add some sugar as well. The original recipe calls for a tablespoonful. I think I'm going to make it just a teaspoonful. I don't want to make it too sweet. Now, those of you who've been watching for a while will know that uh, my mixer that doubled up as a blender has, in fact, broken. It broke when I was halfway through mixing something, rather infuriatingly. What I do have here is this rather wonderful gadget, and here's the beaker. I can't do it very quickly, but you can see I put the butter and the sugar that I just had. I'm going to tip the flour in bit by bit, and hopefully get it into a paste. So. you so you can see better. Okay, in that goes then all the flour with the butter. Oh look, one blueberry is stuck in there. Never mind. Put that with the other blueberries then. Some cold or preferably ice cold water, one tablespoon full, two tablespoons full. Now we'll just test it and see whether it needs any more. Three, four. Now what I'm hoping to do is press this in, mix in the water, not make it too crumbly. 
Hope I don't need to add any more water, by the way. Now we pinch and see if it holds together. Does in places, doesn't in others. Little more water then. Two or four more, I think. Right, now I've got the doughy mixture here. Lovely, isn't it? Now, very well, you can see how I've made it into a ball. Now, just cut down the middle and separate it. Now, having cut that ball in half, we're going to take this rolling pin and flatten them out. Sure, you know what it looks like to operate a rolling pin, but here we are. Alternatively, you can flatten it out by hand, as I am doing here, since the rolling pin kind of stuck to it. All right. And take up both discs then, as I have them here, and refrigerate them for at least an hour. All right, now that the pastry has spent some time in the fridge, uh, I've got these blueberries right here. And I'm going to put the pastry into this dish here. First of all, we grease the pan in which we're going to put the pastry. Coat the pastry in a little egg white. I'm going to grate a little of this lemon rind into that pie. Now uh, you can see I put the blueberries in. And uh, I'm going to just uh, crimp it at the side. It's not as best, as, not as good as I'd like, but uh, it'll do. Now, because that pastry has been in the fridge, I cannot, in all honesty, recall whether I put sugar or cinnamon in it. So I'm going to put some cinnamon on the inside with the blueberries. You would do that anyway if you were um, uh, making apple pie, of course. Now, the lettuce. Now you see how I've cut this thin strip here. Second thoughts, I don't think the lettuce is going to work. Uh, I'll put the whole thing on. Right, I've got to say that I don't appear to have made enough of the pastry, or I've not used it in the right way, so I had to make a little more for the crust there. It has been less successful than the base of it. I really hope this is going to work. Dear, I did not envisage getting them up in great big lumps, but never mind. I don't seem to be able to roll out the dough. Really hope this works. Probably won't, but at least you can have a good laugh at my expense if it doesn't. There's no way I could have made this into lattice. Very well then, in a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 177 degree Celsius or gas mark 4 oven, get the conversion right in the end, you heat the pie. Probably isn't going to heat, in my case it's probably going to be terrible and taste dreadful, but at least I'll get a B- minus for effort. That'll stay in there for about 20 minutes. Right, um, I sp now it has cooked for 20 minutes, but I got my instructions slightly wrong. I did say 350 degrees is what it should go in for. In fact, you have to put it in for 400 degrees at first, and then it you reduce the heat. So I suppose I should increase the heat a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Oh. Well, that looks nice, doesn't it? Yes, I think it's worked. Just get that out now then and slice it. Very well. I have my slice of the pie here. It got a bit crumbly when I got it out, but still. We'll see whether it's edible. I've got some custard here as well. You can have it with cream if you prefer. A bit clotted, but never mind. All right. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's lovely. Blueberry thoroughly cooked.
Hmm. Pastry nicely done. Would like to have had it latticed. Haven't perfected that yet, but... Use the means that I just used for apple pie, if you prefer it, or cherry pie. Hmm. Or skip the sugar and cinnamon and make a savoury pie with this pastry if you wish. I like it. So, fried chicken and blueberry pie. Two American dishes. I hope you enjoyed them. I shall make some dishes from elsewhere in the world in the course of this series. For now, I shall enjoy my pie. So, ta-ta.